Hi everyone, this is Ellen with Artifacts. And in this video, I'm going to show how you can create your first artifact. It is easy, I promise. And obviously I'm here on our desktop. Um, we have other videos that will show you how to do artifacting via our mobile app as well. So take a look for those if that's what you're working from. So here I am on Artifacts and I'm gonna go up here to the top right where I see the plus menu. And I'm gonna choose the first option, new artifact. Now. In the artifact form, we automatically have you on the quick form. There are only four required fields. And the, the beauty of an artifact is it doesn't have to be perfect. You can come back and edit and add to it as time goes on. Now, if you wanna to toggle at any point to the full form, go ahead. There's a lot more information that you can capture, including when you got something, where you bought it, this market or shop, the artist that created it. You can even link to their website or Instagram or whatever it is. Um, value and dimensions, weight, all of these things that might be really important if you're going to be insuring it or adding it to a state plan or selling it someday. Um, storing it, if you're gonna store it and wanna know the measurements for moving it at, in the future, this is a great place to keep that information. Never Never mind the location. Um, so we do provide a lot of options that we'll talk through a little bit in more detail with my example that I'll do here. So in this example, I'm going to artifact a ring that I happened to purchase for my daughter um, when she was too young to care about such things uh, when I was traveling in Brazil. So over here on the left, you can see I can add photos, video, and audio up to five files. And those can be a total of 100 megabytes. And down here below, we tell you all the different file types that you can use in artifacts. And you can pull these files from wherever you store them. In this case, I have them on my device, so I'm just gonna click here, and I'm gonna pull them. So I have a few things I'm gonna add. I have a picture of the ring, I have a picture that is about aquamarine mining in Brazil from a museum. And I also have an audio recording where I tell the story about acquiring this ring. Now it's gonna ask me if I wanna add a caption or I can crop something or rotate it as I please. In this case, I'm not gonna bother um, with uh, rotating or caption. So I'm gonna save that image. Same here, the picture from the museum, no need to alter it. Notice this warning. This photo is a live photo, meaning I have on my iPhone enabled that I can you know, touch it and play the, the photo. Um, if you crop it, it will save a different version of this photo so that you have the live photo and the cropped version. You can learn more about that. And here we go. So automatically it put them in, in the order I added them. I can click and drag and reorder them if I want to, tell them in sequence with my story. I can choose which one is the cover photo for the artifact, meaning once I save the artifact, which is the first default photo I would see if I was only looking at a tile view or I was looking at a timeline view and I only get to see one photo of this artifact, the cover photo is the one photo I would see, even though obviously they're all here. Cover photo can be any one of them. I can also edit if I wanted to go back and actually add a caption or change the image. And of course I can delete any one of them if I so choose, okay? Now over here, you're gonna name your artifact. Sometimes people are very factual about what, what something literally is, other times, like me, I tend to be more playful, but um, you know, here I'm gonna say that ring from Brazil. There's only one of them in my home, I promise you. Now, what is it? The category. We started off with auction house categories, but we really had to customize these here at Artifacts because auction houses won't have life moments, right? That's not, that's not reality. Uh, auction houses also won't have home as a category, but these are highly relevant here at Artifacts for the types of things that we care about and want to tell the stories, our stories behind. Now, in this case, it's jewelry, and I can go down here, open up that category, and find ring. If I didn't know that, I could also search and see what categories um, exist with ring in the name, and I can pick it that way. I can also pick more than one if I want to. So in theory, right, it was my first time in Brazil. I could choose first if I wanted to and add that as a category. Um, I can also say it's a future heirloom. I so hope, right? So there we go. I'll add a few categories. Now, in terms of occasion, 
I don't actually need one here. I could stretch it and say it's a professional memento because I was on a work trip when I bought this, but I don't, I don't need that here. Um, for the description or story, this is really important. At Artifacts, we're not trying to create a story burden. No one is saying, tell me your life story, describe it in all this length. Tell whatever story is relevant. Maybe it's just that your mother gave it to you. And now we know it didn't come from Target. Or maybe you really do have a 5,000 word essay you wanna share about it. Lovely, you can put it all here. If you're working on mobile, there's some differences, right? You can use voice to text there as well as typing it out. Um, so here I can tell the story I was in Rio for work with my, oops, with my colleague Mike and we had a little downtime. Now, I could go on, but for the purposes of this, I won't. Um, but also, I did record an audio. I tell the full story in that, so there's less pressure on me to type it. And frankly, people love artifacts with audio and video. Think of how excited you'd be to have that from a loved one and make sure you offer that to others. Um, I will say when acquired, um, and I'm just going to be general. It was, I think, March of 2013. I approximately. And the shop or vendor was actually H. Stern. I've typed that in before, so I can actually see that and reselect that. Country of origin. I have my set, default set to um, uh, known, but in this case, it was Brazil. So I'm going to delete that and choose Brazil. I can choose, just like with the categories, I can choose more than one country if it's relevant. Brand or artist. Um, the value, now um, I don't recall actually offhand the exact value. I can type an exact value. Let's pretend it was $1,500. So I'm going to put that there. If there is dimensions, weight, I could do that. Location, I can say where in my home I keep that. And in the future, this is an optional field, but one we strongly encourage you to do. Um, in this case, I will bequeath this ring one day to my daughter, Violet. Um, and I'll put that here. Oops, she's my daughter. All right. And I can put her email address. Now, mind you, we really do, we encourage you to share this with your estate planner, add it to a digital will, any of that documentation, because we want to make sure that your wishes are known. But keep in mind, this is padlocked. I can now share this artifact once I hit save privately with anyone I want, and they won't see who I've bequeathed this to. If I had five kids, no one would know which kid got the ring until or unless I shared that information with them or if I give them full control of this artifact. All right, and in terms of tags, I'm gonna tag it Brazil because I have a bunch of artifacts from Brazil. I'm gonna tag it with my daughter's name, and I think that's about, that's about it for now. Okay. I'm going to also show you, I'm gonna add files. So the ring came with a certificate of appraisal as well as a warranty, and I wanna upload both of those. So they're here, I can edit with this little pencil and change the name, and I can add the um, information that I want. So I have an appraisal and I have an international warranty. So I'm gonna mark both of those as the types of files. This is great if you're going to insure an item or file a claim on an item. Also for estate and tax purposes, it's great to have this information accessible. Every time you buy something really valuable, we hope that you will add the documentation as you make those purchases and really have great and useful conversations with your um, tax and estate teams. All right, click save. And now it's going to save this artifact and it'll give me an option to view it, to share it, or to add another artifact. You'll notice that Facebook, Twitter, all of those are grayed out. I can't share it there because it's not public. I can easily click this toggle, make it public, and share it to wherever I want. A lot of our genealogy friends, collector friends um, love to do that. That's great. Um, I can also share with a specific person or group. So people that I've shared with regularly, like my co-founder Heather, will pop up. And in that case, I can add a message to her about why I'm sharing it with her. Um, I could even give her edit access. Say she was on the trip with me. Maybe she remembers some fun details. I could give her edit access if I wanted to there. Now, remember I added the documentation that shows the value for the warranty and appraisal. 
if for some reason it was relevant, um, let's say I, I, instead of Heather, I had an, an appraiser on here or I had an estate attorney or a financial advisor, I would probably want to share that documentation with them as well. And so I can choose to do so by default. You, know, you don't get to share documentation, but you can if you so choose. And so I can put that there and then I would share that with her. Um, I'm gonna cancel out of that. I don't actually need to share it with her. And mind you, if you're wondering why it shows two people already have access, even though you didn't see me share this new artifact, it's because in my account settings, I have already said, always share with my daughter and with my husband. So I don't have to worry about adding them. They automatically get view access. I can change their access if I want to, but they already have access, so we're good to go. All right, now I can choose if I wanna add a new artifact or view this one and onwards we go. So I'll show you what this one looks like before we end this video. Here's my artifact, the ring, the museum shot, and the audio, which I can play when I went to Brazil and look at other photos uh, as it plays. Had... I hope this is helpful to you. And I look forward to learning what do you artifact first. Remember, if you're looking for inspiration, go to our inspiration menu, download one of our checklists. We have a huge collection of them, including our newest one, which is First Artifacts, where we actually provide in examples from real people who have artifacted and what they told us was their first artifact. Have a great day.